planes could talk, what would they say? How would they say it? And would we listen? Would they call out, granting a glimpse of a time long gone? Would they tell of the sacrifice, and if it was worth it? How evil was defiantly beaten and freedom thunderously died for? How they soared to unknown fate, carrying the names of angels? Would they tell us how it felt, piercing enemy realms, their wings and blades churning as their shadows scraped foreign grounds? With their brawn and steel, they cradled flesh and blood. And would they remember our forefathers when they look at us? When these engines roar, these planes, they do talk. Their wind, our breath, we feel what they saw. Sons leaving home while mothers cried, fear of not returning while saying goodbye. With chests out, Heads high, blades churning in the sky, the brave and free fought. Some lived, some died, through storm and cannon shells, till victory was hailed. These planes and brave sword, bearing the stories they'll tell. Oh, if these planes could talk. The Commemorative Air Force, it's an organization that was started about 50 years ago. It's 10,000 members from across the world in 60 units and we're all dedicated to preserving these aircraft, but also dedicated to education of what the men and women did that helped preserve our freedoms. You know, they're really inanimate objects. They're just metal, rubber, and wires, and oil, and engines. That's what they are physically. But if these planes could talk, what stories would they tell? That's really what's compelling about what they stand for. When you get to see the props spinning and the smoke billow and the wind rush behind it and the rumble of those big four engine radial engine bomber as she starts up and taxis out, it's fabulous. And it evokes um, just an exponential emotion. You know, all of us have inside of us an innate desire to know that when our days on this earth are completed, that we can look back and say, was it worth it? You know, what did I do that was really of lasting value? And if these planes could talk, they would ask that same question. They'd say, you know, did I make a difference? Is the pain and the suffering at the time of war, was it really of value what I contributed? So it's the men, it's the women, it's the aircraft that we're trying to preserve because we believe what they did was very, very valuable, that it contributed to our freedoms, that it took tyranny out of the world, at least in a small way. And there are hundreds and even thousands of people that come out to see them at each stop. So they continually tell the story. And when you consider that this airframe, Fifi, that this airframe, Diamond Lil, are still out there flying, that there's people that rub on them, love them, wrench them, fly them, fuel them, pay uh, to keep them flying, that means that in the hearts and minds of all the people who come out to see them, there's still that burning desire to see what this plane stood for, the freedoms that it stands for. So they continually tell the story, so they talk.